terrific news. Did you tell Lucky? Not yet. I went in and tried to tell him earlier, but they were both dead to the world. <laughs> oh, well, they had quite a night. Mm -hmm. I was here until midnight, and then I looked in on them before I left, and Lucky had curled up in the sleeping bag right next to the dog's cage. <laughs> I would have just hated to tell him that that dog didn't make it. Well, I've got to say, I've seen a lot of dogs and a lot of kids come through that door, but rarely have I witnessed a connection as strong and, and immediate as the one we saw here last night. You have been just wonderful. Your whole staff. Thank you oh, so it's much. It's our pleasure. Shall we go tell him? Oh, let's. <laughs> getting better. He is. The doctor says that he's going to be just fine. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. As soon as he recovers from that surgery, he'll be as good as new. Did you hear that, boy? As good as new. You would, you would not believe how cool this dog is. He, this, he listened to everything I said. Well, he's obviously a very smart dog. Well, see, that's just it. He's not just a smart dog. This dog is special. you got to let me keep him. I can't let him keep him. Please, gotta let me keep him. Just one little word. You won't even know what's gone. How did I know this was coming? Look, you don't understand. We made a pact. And, and, and I promised him if he got better, I'd take care of him. And I, we can't, I can't just let him go now. <laughs> Plus, I, I'd be backing out of my word. And you don't like it when I do. Well, calm down, Lucky. You don't have to convince me. I know. Mm -mm. I've been thinking about this all night long, and as far as I'm concerned, you've got yourself a dog. <gasps> did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Did, did, did I tell you this? My mom is the coolest mom in the whole world. Uh, there's only one proviso. What? Your father has to agree. But we can take him home in the meantime, right? Well, the doctor says it's all right. Well, I don't see any reason why not. As long as you keep your eye on that incision, make sure he doesn't scratch it. Oh, no, I won't let him. I promise. <laughs> hey, boy, are you ready to come home with us? <gasps> I think he is. Oh. <laughs> oh, lucky look at him. Look at that face. Oh. <laughs> He's just so expressive. What kind of a dog is he? He's a French Mastiff, purebred. I think he's about two years old. Apart from that recent injury, I, he's in perfect, excellent condition. I, uh, I've never heard of French Mastiff. Well, they were dogs of war in the Middle Ages. Oh, Dad will like that. He's incredibly strong. Look at those shoulders and his hips. This breed used to take out an enemy by going straight for the jugular, literally. I say they've become a little bit more domesticated since then, haven't you? <laughs> I bet he'd make a good watchdog, too. Oh, you couldn't do better. Oh, yeah. well, there's something that your father would like. Oh, yeah. Dad now, will not stand a chance. <laughs> <laughs> what about shop? Oh, well, I can take care of that before you leave. And if you'll come into my office, I'll give you some medication and uh, ointment for that incision. Okay. You going come along with me? Uh, no, I want to tell him the good news. Okay, well, we're going to have to make a trip to the pet store, so why don't you start thinking about a list? All right, I will. Okay. Bye. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that, boy? You're now officially a part of my family. Leash dog food? Yeah. Yep. Oh, oh, good. Here, here. And a collar? This is the collar. And the light and the light. Here's a light. Great. We did it. <sighs> yeah. Uh. Oh, Mom. Look. No. <laughs> He's made himself comfortable here already. <laughs> you know something, Larry? We're going to have to stop calling him him and he and dog. We're going to have to give him a real name. Distinctive? Yeah. Mm. How about, uh, uh, Prince? How about that? That's a strong kind of a name. Uh, no, not Prince. No? Mm. Duke. How about that? That's not bad. Yeah? Hey, Duke. <clears throat> Duke. Actually, it's not working. 
Nonsense, I guess not. Luther? <laughs> Ooh, looks like I have a new foster child, don't I? That's it. <laughs> what is? We'll call him Foster. It's perfect. It is perfect. It's perfect. Foster. He likes it, too. He does. This is so cool. This is the best thing ever. I mean, all my life, I've always wanted a dog more than anything else in the world. And you think that'll go for it? I think he probably will. We promise you could have a dog if we ever settle down. And great old town dog when you were living up in Texas. You were just a little baby then. Mm. But Luke was crazy about it. Do you think he'll be crazy about Foster? Well, he must be. I mean, look at this dog. Nobody can leave this dog. <laughs> Imagine my surprise. I come home from a hard day's night only to be greeted by the hound of the Baskervilles. Mrs. Spencer, do you have something you'd like to discuss with me? It's a long story. Oh, though. hey, Dad, did you meet Foster? Come on, Foster. Come on. Hey, you're walking. He's the best dog. Yeah, he's the best dog. Yeah. He's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, oh. you're walking. How did this happen? Well, it was Foster, of course. I mean, we didn't actually know his name at the time. But see, he got hit by a car. It was really scary. I, I, I opened the door of the car. I, I ran over there because I knew that I had to help this doggy. Because this doggy was hurt. You mean you're walking because of this ugly mutt? He's not ugly, okay? Yes, I am. Oh. Oh, I like this dog. <laughs> Honey, I don't like this dog. Oh, come on, Dad. Just... Give Foster a little time to warm up. Okay? A little time? Well, how much time are we talking here? Uh, well, he lives here. Does he? Mm. I have no problem with it. Oh, thank you for that, dear. Yeah. You're welcome, you, dear. You, you can see what a great watchdog he is, you know? I mean, when you're out on business, he can stay here and, and protect Mom and I. Yeah, that's right. His ancestors were war dogs in the Middle Ages, trained to rip out people's throats. Why? Oh, so he has a trade. Well, look, he'd be really hurt if we sent him away now. He, he likes it here. Oh, he'd be really hurt. Yeah. Well, uh, it... all right, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. Why don't we give it a couple of days and mm -hmm. see if Foster and I can establish some level of mutual tolerance. Well, and then know, we'll see. That is fine, because you know why I have no worries, because you and Foster are going to get along. You know that? Because he's the best. Dog in the world. You take a bullet for any one of us. <laughs> you take a bullet for him? He loves it. 